If I had the object to shrink something, I mean the power to shrink something, it would be my girlfriend's attitude. <laughs> It'd be my girlfriend getting mad at me. I'ma shrink that and then, yeah, just shrink that. So, I'm, so I don't have to apologize all the time about stuff. <laughs> this MKT time and you mess with Snipe Films. Originally, I was born in Tacoma, Washington, but I just moved to California. Moved uh, from city to city, Fairfield, Vallejo, um, San Jose. Like I say, you could say Vacaville is my hometown. That's where we kind of figure stuff out. Always like just watched YouTubers growing up. I always wanted to be one, but I was afraid to do it. Just kept, I just kept watching, kept watching, getting inspired by watching people just have fun, just genuine fun, making content. I think I really got inspired to do it around senior year. When I graduated, after I graduated, I watched people like Lenar, LL, Love Live Serve. I just did it. And when I first started, I, I didn't tell nobody what I was doing. I was just making videos. Didn't tell, I didn't even post on Instagram. I didn't put no link in no bio. I don't know why I was so afraid, but I guess I just gained confidence by continuing to do it. But Dude, I didn't know she was 15, man. Yeah, I try to make my music more positive for the kids. I got the 30 with me, might just shoot him in his face. Lil Tatiana might just get me on that face. I mean, the kids look up to rappers, you feel me, as role models. So every decision I make, I try to move from there, you feel me? <laughs> me first. Man, she hit. <sighs> Tupac is not that Tupac. good. Every time I come outside, bro, the police is always harassing me for no reason, bro. I don't do nothing to nobody. Bro, you a nerd, bro. Dude. You not even really like that, bro. Dude, I'm in these streets, nah, dude. What do you mean? I'm in the streets. Dude, come do it, dude. Come do it, dude. Come do it, dude. They're not, none, nothing's too hard to film. It's just the mental aspect of it. So, for example, I made a video called My Strange Addictions, being a loyal boyfriend. I was so afraid to make the video because I, I thought it to be harder than it was, even though I kind of knew, like, Brad, whatever you put your mind to, you can do. But for some reason, it was that one I was just so afraid to do because that's what I really want to do, like make cinematic films, like real films. I guess in that mentally, that one was the hardest one, but um, editing, I made a video with my guys, uh, John Aiden, we made a video called Def Jam, uh, what is the, <laughs> Def Jam World War Three or something like that. And and the, let me explain the video real quick. So it's basically, so I know, I know y'all seen the Def Jam uh, fighting game. We try to recreate that, bring it to real life. So we did Kanye West and Drake, and then we just like, I don't know, bro. We, I made like a cardboard suit. Uh, they was, they had the Drake clothes on, and we was just in a, in a cold in Pittsburgh. It was cold as hell. It was in some type of alleyway, just acting like we was fighting for like four hours. And I went straight to their house, was editing like 12 hours straight, just trying to get it, get it, get it again. And that video was not as raw as I, I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna turn up. I thought, I don't know, I thought I was gonna change my life, but that's probably in terms of editing. Ooh. <laughs> Dead Jam was like, I spent three months on that, three months on that video. Like procrastinating, um, procrastinating, procrastinating, just procrastinating. It was, I don't know what was wrong. And then we filmed it, it was three months for one video. If I could change one thing, I think it would be people's self-awareness. A lot of people do wrong and not know they're doing wrong. And I think that's one of the big things that messes people up. So it could be a hoop or smoking weed. They don't think that's wrong or bad or anything, but I feel like if they had a little bit more self-awareness, they'll make better decisions. I don't know, I just feel like in general, if people had more self-awareness, a lot of stuff would be better. To read people's minds. Because if you can read people's minds, you can have anything in the world. You can have anything you want, I believe. <laughs> yeah, if you read people's mind, though. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm not even funny. I'm not even, when it comes to jokes, I'm not a comedian. I just like to, I, not even act, I'm just goofy. Yeah. So if you just hang out with me, you're just gonna look at me like, what are you doing? And laugh at some stuff that I'm just weird. 
So I don't even got no jokes. I'm that comedian. Senior students at the local high school are in a frenzy over the coronavirus epidemic shutting down their high school. Assignments, please. Assignments, please. This is Mookie, a senior student at the high school, protesting the shutdown. I got back too, bruh. Bruh, bruh, just let me in, bruh. I do a couple assignments, bruh, for real. I'm not coming to school this summer, bruh. I'm not doing that, bruh. I promise you, bruh, I'm not coming to school this summer. Set up the bulletin board, bring something. Right, because I'm graduating this year, 2020. That was the plans at the beginning of the year. Y'all trying to change the plans. I'm not going to school in the summer. I promise you I'm not going to school in the summer, bro. Y'all not doing that, bro. I'm really finna start tripping. Don't look at, what are you looking at, bro? What are you looking at, bro? Yeah, they canceled school. Go home, bro. Damn. I'm, bro, I'm here, though. Everybody else, y'all can go, bro. I'm, I'm, bro. I got so much plans for this summer, bro. I'm supposed to go to Honolulu this year, bro. Oh, I'm supposed to go to Honolulu this year. You know the females at Honolulu, you? Do you know the females that be over there, bro? I promise you, I'm finna go, bro. I'm still going, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't care. Everybody's sick over there. I'm still going to Hallelujah this year. Hey, we going, are you going to Hallelujah this year, bro? You going? You going? Ah, oh, we going. We're going, bro. We're going, bro. We're still going, bro. Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas. And that's, I'm really in a self-improvement and just, like, improvement as a person. So, and Eric Thomas is somebody who helps me, like, like a lot. I could be going through the worst stuff in my life and listen to Eric Thomas and I'll be straight. So I'm gonna meet, I'm, no, I'm gonna meet Eric Thomas one day. You feel know I me? Mean? So yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Let me think. I can do, what can I do? A uh, one point, sorry. Uh, one uh, boogie point, uh, I don't know. Let me think. We all have a voice. I feel like if I just listen to somebody, I, that, that's how I get it. I just listen to people. Like the little Mookie character, that's from my uncle, JR. That's just listening to him. I just did some little bodybuilder stuff. That's looking at the people on Instagram. So I just be, I just be doing what they doing, honestly. That's like a funny. I mess with it. I mess with it. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say that? I mess with it. Ham and pineapples. That's right. That's the ham and pineapples right on my trip in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's the one. No, I'm not even like that yet. Eventually. My wife is my crazy <laughs> my crazy man. That's funny. No. Oh, don't forget that we have to go to the Say it. Do you know where my car keys are? Huh? You know my car keys are. You a dumbo, you dumbo. He don't own a bed, he got on buckles, you buckles. Nah, um, I'm staying in the kitchen. That's probably in the kitchen. Second in the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. What? Make sure it's 87 or 91. I'm telling your dad you call me daddy sometimes. Do I look bad in this one? Mm hmm. Can you look at it? Mm hmm. Let me go off the heart. Most embarrassing thing I did. <laughs> yeah, in high school, no, actually in middle school, bro, I messed my teeth up and I didn't have teeth in the front till after high school. <laughs> and I had to get my chicken up by myself. And you feel me? Come back. I couldn't even smile. I couldn't smile, laugh. I think that's, that's what stopped me from doing YouTube too, honestly, it was really that. But the girl stuff kept coming up, it kept coming. They kept coming though. You really have to have the chicken heads. <laughs> Best and worst name? Mache is the worst name. Nah, man. <laughs> Who could I say they get mad? I'm trying to do something they can get mad. Marshall Tubbs is the worst name I could ever think of. <laughs> What's the best name? Um, Brie Lynn. <laughs> Brie Lynn's the best name. That's funny. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. But probably not that, honestly, because that's dangerous and I wouldn't want my life to be like that. 2K, I'll be in 2K. I'll be in 2K. Hooven. I used to. I was weak till senior year. Man, I, there's a lot of funny people around me. Zay is hilarious. Zay Pay is hilarious. Marshall's hilarious. It's a lot of funny people around me, bro. So I remember Isaiah fell. <laughs> he was we just walking, he just fell. I was like, I don't know. I think that was funny though. He just fell. We were just yelling at each other. That was funny. 
We were just in the car just yelling. And, nah, 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 nah. That's like a funny. I used to be a, a sneakerhead, but I really feel like Jordans are gonna die, bro. Yeah. I really feel like it. I don't want them to, but I, think, I feel like they're gonna die. Cause it's, it's already decreasing. I, I hope they don't though, but I mean, even if they don't, I still probably wear some. But in, in terms of like hype, I feel like, cause what can you keep to you to recreate at this point? What the fuck, mom, you're 10 minutes late. Dude, I don't know who this Martin Luther King is, but we have Monday off, man. The habit, I thought we were getting Benny Hannes. Don't let this shit happen again, all right? Fuck, man. School's okay, shit. You didn't go to the Gucci store? I don't care about the water bill. I wanted my Gucci. <laughs> Mom? Yes, baby. Shut the fuck up, I'm making a TikTok. If I had the object to shrink something, I mean the power to shrink something, it would be my girlfriend's attitude. <laughs> Stop. No, I'll put that in there. It'll be my girlfriend getting mad at me. I'm gonna shrink that and then, yeah, just shrink that. So, I'm, so I don't have to apologize all the time about stuff. There was this place in Roseville, they had some beautiful sushi. I messed with sushi. Kiki's goes crazy. I don't know if y'all had that, but the Buffalo Ranch fries. I think I only got two. I think that's it. I haven't ate nothing. I need to go eat some stuff. Kiki's, they make like, fries and, and they cut up chicken and it'd be buffalo sauce and ranch they got their own sauce it's crazy it's in um sacramento favorite color blue favorite food sushi shoe size ten and a half three words that describe you damn you got me <laughs> um hard working um Goofy and damn, what's the last one? Hard working, goofy, and um, and spreading loving. <laughs> last person you Probably my wife, Michelle. Late night or morning person? Both. Favorite movie? Well, I was often to say Toy Story 3. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but Avatar for sure. Football or basketball? Basketball, that's not even a question. Favorite superhero? I don't got one, but I'll say Superman. What'd you eat for breakfast? Bro, I ate some bad sausages. I thought they were sausages, but they wasn't sausages. What's your lucky number? 12. Favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Favorite video game? 2K or Grand Theft Auto? Ranch or ketchup? Ranch. Nike or Adidas? Nike's. Call of Duty or 2K? 2K. 2K. Last person you DM'd? Snipe Films. What are you bad at? Ooh, consistency. I'll put consistency. My consistency is bad, so that's something I want to improve on.